Take a look at this. And this. This one too. And yeah, that. We all know VO2 just got a mind-blowing upgrade. Introducing VO3. Insane graphics, super accurate prompt following. It's like AI on steroids. But then it's paid. That's sad, right? Well, trust Lucy. I dug deep into the AI world and found something that's basically VO3. But with a free plan, well, limited free. But no worries. I also used my skills to learn a very easy way to unlock this tool completely. Did I also tell you it generates a level of uncensored images? Well, let's not talk much. Let's go into it ASAP. Just make sure you subscribe, like, and share to save a lot of people from wasting money. Go to Google and search for Whisk AI, or just click the link in the description and sign up. Once you're in, you'll land on this interface. Click the left arrow here, and you'll see three main options, subject, scene, and style. For each, you can either type a prompt or upload an image. Simple. There's also a prompt box below. So let's not waste time. Let's try it out. I already have a concept in mind. If you've seen my previous videos, you'll recognize this image. It's one of my favorites. Hit Generate. And in under 50 seconds, the image is ready and uploaded instantly. To view your image, click this button. You can edit your prompt, but I'm happy with what I got. Now let's test if Whisk AI can stay consistent using an image reference. I'll input my prompt and check out the settings. First, the aspect ratio. We'll leave that at 16.9. Then we have the seed and model settings. I'll lock the seed to keep the face consistent and I'll select best quality for the model. We want this to look great. Click generate and the image starts rendering. On the right, it first gives us an anime-like version, which isn't exactly what I wanted. But look again. We've also got a better version with the lady and the background details I included in the prompt. That's impressive, especially since many AI tools struggle with text accuracy or ignore it completely. Now let's check out the video generation. Click Animate on the top left corner of your image and you'll land on this screen. Below the image is a prompt box where you can enter your video idea. I'll keep it simple and and click Generate. Ignore the time lapse. This took under two minutes in real time. Here's the result. And honestly, I'm impressed. The lighting, the reflections, everything looks smooth with no glitches or text errors. Let's test something else this time by uploading an image. Here's the one I'm using. After uploading, Whisk takes about 10 seconds to analyze it. Now that it's ready, I'll input a different prompt and see how it handles real images, not just AI-generated ones. I'll switch the concept to a POV scene and lock the seat again, with the aspect ratio still at 16.9. Click Generate. And I was just sipping coffee when boom, image ready. And it nailed the reference. Let's go further. I added more detail to the prompt to test if it keeps the same position and visual consistency. And it did. It even detected that the scene was a hospital. And thanks to the prompt about nose masks and being sick, it changed the outfit to a hospital gown and even added a face mask with text. It kept the same hair color and facial features too. I tried again to confirm. Same solid result. Now let's bring this to life. Click Animate. Without adding a prompt, hit Generate. If you're enjoying this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The result's stunning. Honestly, I'm surprised this tool isn't more popular yet. Just look at the animation. The blink, the subtle motion. It feels real. You'd think it was a real person if you saw this on social media. Okay, 
Now let's check out the parts where we would add a perfect scene. We can do this in the image prompt box, but let's try it out and see if it works well. For this, I'm going to add a person first. Then maybe the second thing we'll add is a scene as in a location. So I typed in the prompt of a dark-skinned man. And yeah, that's it. This actually generated a really perfect, realistic image of a dark-skinned man, and yeah, I'm going to add it to the image. Okay, so I thought of something, and let's see if this AI tool can actually generate it for me. Now what I did was add the image of the lady alongside the man to check if it could generate both of them together without looking cringe. Okay, if you check out my prompt, you'll see I'm trying something a little romantic here. Don't get me wrong, I'm just testing this tool's limits, as I promised. After generating the two characters, I got this amazing image of the lady as the subject and the man in the scene. It captured exactly the type of imagination I had. And yeah, it looks really great. Before animating, I carefully analyzed both images to see which would perform better. I wasn't sure if it would flop. And hey, we don't want that. But it's actually looking really nice. So yeah, let's try animating this. After adding a little romantic flair to the prompt, I hit Generate to check the result. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe while watching and share. It really helps me out as a new channel. Now, I don't know the right words to describe this, but it's just so good and really underrated. I can confidently say this is top tier in terms of smart, high-quality image-to-video generation with no glitches or weird misspellings. The body movements are gradual, and most importantly, if you look closely, you'll notice how realistic and smooth the character motion is. This is seriously impressive. Now let's play around with this tool by making them look like a couple on their wedding day. So I entered my prompts and made sure the seed was locked. Generated the image. And very quickly, the result appeared, and it looked amazing. Next, I tried putting them in a more traditional wedding outfit, and yeah. Just as I expected, it visualized exactly what I had in mind. Okay, now let's animate this image. You'll notice I didn't enter any prompt. I just wanted to test how the AI performs without any guidance. And after a while, the video was generated. As usual, the result looks fantastic. Moving on. I really wanted to test if this AI tool can generate uncensored images, but I don't want to violate YouTube's policies. If you want to explore that side, you're invited to my Discord server, where you can freely view or share NSFW content. Let's go with something more YouTube safe for now. I typed a prompt and generated a lady in a bikini in different aspect ratios. Unfortunately, the 916 version couldn't be animated. So I moved ahead and animated the first bikini image. At that point, I didn't really know what to type as a prompt. So I just clicked generate and let the AI do its thing. Here's the result. And I noticed something really funny. A man with long hair, wearing a bikini. Crazy, right? Anyway, I regenerated the image with a slightly modified prompt. It gave me a similar result, but this time a bit less funny. Now, let's move on to filling in the scene and style fields. Here, you can either type a description or upload an image. For the style, I typed in VEO3, just to see if it could match the high quality look of the paid VEO3 version. Then I hit generate. For the scene, I typed a prompt. A war zone. After the scene was generated and uploaded, I went back to the prompt box and typed, a lady in a war zone, holding a gun. 
That gave us a clean, accurate result. Next, I animated it. Typed in a simple prompt. And boom, once again, the result was stunning and captivating. And yes, you can download your video without any watermark. Want to unlock even more features? That's probably something YouTube won't allow. So for that, catch me on Discord using the link in the video description. If you want to explore further with this tool, just click on this icon and select a preset. There's so much to try. If this was helpful or interesting, make sure to subscribe and share. It really supports the channel and I appreciate every bit of it. Thank you.